Today I'm going to show you how I built the X and Z axis and much more of my custom DIY CNC machine. So the last video has been four and a half months ago already and since then I promised you this one and now it's finally here and so why don't we just get right into it. So after I had the frame built I went on to finishing the Y axis. This primarily meant to make a tensioning system for the belt as what I showed you last time was only temporary. After some experimentation I then settled on this method. The belt gets clamped with this little bracket that I make and then you can tension it with a bolt. After that I also mounted the drag chain for the Y axis as I was working on it anyways. But more about the drag chain and the cabling in the next video where I talk about the electronics. Next I decided to get started on the Z axis so I milled some pieces to mount the lead screw to the assembly and I also did milled some other various pieces that I needed. Then it was once again time to get some CNC milling done as I still needed two brackets. So uh, we spent another evening milling some parts on the big CNC machine. And with these done, I was able to assemble the whole X carriage. And as you can see, I used some M10 threaded rods to connect the assembly, which resulted in a really sturdy construction. The belt system on the X axis is really similar to the one on the Y axis, so it wasn't that difficult to make. Lastly, I also added a channel where the drag chain goes into so it doesn't hang down as much. Again, more about the drag chains and the e electronics in the next video where I'm gonna talk detailed about the electronics in this build. So 
So that's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like down below and also consider to subscribe. I also have Twitter and Instagram handles where I post behind the scenes pictures of builds like this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.